As we all know, the landmark has made headlines as one of the best premium properties to buy for own state. But how does it fare from an investment point of view? Let's find out. Strategically located at Chinsui Road, the landmark sits on District 3, overlooking the Central Business District and the Greater Southern Waterfront, with Chinatown, Tiong Bahru, Robertson, and Clark Key within its neighborhood. So far, so good, but one of the top of the mind questions for investors will be how this property will perform in the rental market. Just five minutes from Shenton Way, Raffles Key, Marina Boulevard, its proximity to the CBD is a luxury to many expatriates and foreign professionals working in Singapore, and the location will provide easy access to a wide choice of restaurants and entertainment hotspots along the bank of the Singapore River. Not only that, towards the Outram area, the new Singapore General Hospital campus is already well underway in redevelopment and expansion. In near future, there will be a new Outram Community Hospital, National Cancer Centre building, new A&E block, new SGH complex and a research park. And every smart investor will want to capture the influx of medical professionals seeking rental options around the vicinity. And naturally, it's assuring to any landmark residents to know that the state-of-the-art healthcare facilities is just around the corner. As part of the Master Plan 2019, the Greater Southern Waterfront and a strategic development initiative will transform the city area to become more vibrant after office hour and a choice location for work, live and play. Rather than concrete jungle of offices, it will become a dynamic, exciting area where people can look forward to spend their leisure time. It will become an attractive residential location where residents can enjoy a high-quality car-like living environment, a range of amenities, entertainment, and a more lively neighborhood, stretching from Marina East, Sentosa, extending to Pasir Panjang. Another top-of-mind question for investors will be, what region of price appreciation do we hope to see? Take Sterling Residence as an example. When it was first launched, sales price averaged 1,700 to 1,800 per square foot. It has risen over the past two years to reach the current average price of 1,969 per square foot. Hence, we can observe that there is a considerable price appreciation for property in the District 3 area. Avenue South's launch price averaged 1,900 per square foot a year ago, compared to $2,037 now. Similarly, One Pearl Bank's launch price increased from an average of $2,380 a year ago to $2,482 now. From an investment angle, this shows that projects in the area have the potential for capital appreciation. And to add the cherry on top, the landmark is located at the perfect distance from the city to take the splendor of the skyline. To some, this million-dollar view already justifies purchase for home and for investment.